sure what a healthy relationship is versus an unhealthy relationship. So let's start off like this. What kinds of violence have you heard about before? Dating violence. Emotional. Okay, we've got sexual. What's sexual violence? Forcing somebody to have sex. Okay, what else? Emotional. What's emotional? And by the way, the majority of dating violence victims are female. I just want to let you know that. But there are men who are also the victim of dating violence. So don't, don't think that you guys are safe by any stretch of the imagination. What's another form? Okay, we've got sexual. I'm, I'm surprised how that was the first one thrown out. The physical. Physical abuse is a big one. Um, I've talked to over 100 women that have gone through dating violence and domestic violence, and many of them have gone through really horrific things that I won't talk about right now. But um, between dating violence, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. between emotional abuse and physical abuse, which one do you think they say is the worst one? Oh. Emotional is by far the worst one because that sticks with you. Somebody said, my broken bones healed, but my heart never did. It is a horrible thing. So what your niece Those are kind of abuses that are out there. There's also financial, where he takes all the money away from her. There's also spiritual abuse. What in the world do I mean by that? Spiritual abuse. It's when a religious text like the Bible is used against the woman, and they use passages in there that are misinterpreted and makes him feel really high and her really low. The woman is supposed to follow the man. I forget which chapter and verse that is. But Corinthians, thank you, my brother. Amen over there. Okay, Corinthians is something that we have over there. Now, when it comes to physical abuse, I'm a health educator, so I'm concerned about your health. Physical abuse, there are some things that happen, not only in the short term, but in the long term as well. If you are the victim of abuse, and it's physical, you can come up with short term things like broken bones and lacerations. Um, unfortunately, sometimes knife wounds go along with that. Those all heal pretty, pretty readily. But if you are a victim of abuse for an extended period of time, you can also have more chronic things happen to you, like gastrointestinal disease. You can have eye problems, cardiovascular disease, bone issues, head injuries. And head injuries is a big one because guess what he goes for the first time he actually gets upset with her? He goes for her head. And guess what he does with her head? Bangs it against something. That causes traumatic brain injury really quickly. Um, there is a pattern of violence that you should be aware of. It's a very basic pattern, but it's called the cycle of violence. Now, who's heard of that? Okay, if you've been in my personal health class, I know you better raise your hand. <laughs> You're not raising your hand. <laughs> There's a cycle, imagine a cycle like this. The first stage of it, oh, he's wonderful. He's the most amazing man I've ever met in my entire life. Oh, he gives me goosebumps every time I listen to him. Oh, that's wonderful, everything's heavenly. And then the second stage is when things start getting a lot like you're dancing on eggshells. This goes for male perpetrators and for uh, perpetrators. It goes like this. What is the matter with you? Didn't I just tell you not to do that? Didn't I tell you to put that cell phone away? You always feel like you're on edge with that person. And in terms of physical abuse, the last stage is the explosion stage. That's when he actually has physical abuse. Now, that physical abuse starts off in different ways. Do me a favor. Don't worry, I won't hurt you too much. <laughs> Usually he starts testing the water first. The first one may be a show, something like that. Now, is that acceptable? No. Don't ever think that's acceptable. I think a lot of you still put up with somebody shoving you. I didn't actually shove you. I just kind of like to touch you. Right? No lawsuit. <laughs> Sometimes it starts off like that, and then it turns into a heavier shove. Then maybe he throws her against the wall. Then the next stage after that is maybe he smacks her. The next stage after that, he punches her. And it continues like that. It gets really gruesome. Thank you, Jim, very much. <laughs> it can actually be great. <laughs> For trusting me. And then after the explosion stage, when he goes on, it gets back to A boy was walking his bumblebee, he tied it to a string. The sky was lit up with violet light, a bird began to sing a song of sixpence. 